breathing exercises just to kind of center ourselves. We're going to wrap our hands around the belly and the low back. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathing out, squeezing out. I'm squeezing out every atom of air. And I can see Carla watching me. She's heard me do this three times already today. Breathing in the bottom of the belly. And squeezing out every atom of air as you breathe out. Breathing in again to the rib cage, wide into the ribs. And contracting all the way around as you breathe out. And open the eyes. Let's take the arms up. Just going to come back just a little bit. And down. And again up. Breathing in. And down. And one more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's swing the arms by the sides of the body. Keeping the knees a little soft here. You can start to look towards the sides. And if you'd like to bring your heel up off the floor and twist all the way to the back, you can do. Keeping this really gentle just while we're warming up. And then coming back to the centre. If you've just joined us, give us a little thumbs up or a heart to let us know you're there. And let us know if you're joining in. So we're going to do a little bit more of a warm up. We're going to start to do the movements that we're going to do in our Tabata to warm up. So we're going to start off. Level one is we're going to take a lunge back. And come back to centre. So just one leg at a time, bending the back knee. And now let's do the other leg. So sending the leg back, keeping the knee above the ankle, bending the back knee, keeping the belly strongly engaged. That's level one. Level two, we're going to lunge back. We're going to come to centre. We're going to lift the knee and centre. And again, back, centre, lift, other side. Take the knee back, come to centre, lift the knee. And down. And back. Centre. Lift. Down. Level three. Switch legs again. Let's take the leg back. Lift the knee. And back. Nice and controlled. You can have the hands at the front of the body or wherever they feel comfortable. Or we can, now we can do the other leg. This is just warming up. Finding the movement pattern. Feel free just to stick to the easier version. I'm giving three different diff difficulty levels here, if I can say it. So that's our number one. Our number two is a curtsy squat. So alternating legs. One leg comes behind, back to centre. Other side, back to centre. Really keeping the upper body lifted, keeping the belly engaged, making sure the knees are tracking the toes at all times. Let's do a couple more each side. So remember our Tabata is high intensity um, uh, interval training. So we're going to work hard for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. We're going to do that eight times. So the next exercise, another squatting one. You can either take a forward squat or a turned out foot squat, whichever you prefer. We're just going to hold it and we're just going to do little pulses for 20 seconds. Let's do a few of those. Just warming up for now. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Our final one. Is going to be a plank variation. Coming on to hands, you can just hold the plank. Plank is, is a challenge for you and you can hold plank for 20 seconds. If you want to add a little extra challenge, we're going to take the hand to the shoulder and again when we do this back, we're going to be moving a little bit more uh, dynamically. And last side. So remember, you don't have to go at the same speed as me. Take it at your own speed. Always do the important to prioritize form over speed. Um, but once you feel comfortable in the form and feeling strong, go a little bit faster. If you can go faster than me, then go faster than me. And I probably won't go to my maximum because I want to try and keep talking to you guys while we're doing it as well. So um, if you can go faster than me, go faster than me. But remember to keep good form. So I'm going to set the time going now. And I'm going to count this in for 10 seconds. So, four minutes, 20 seconds working hard. Sorry, you can hear the, the voice there. Um, and then 10 seconds rest for eight times. Three, two, one, lunging back. Lunge back, lift the knee. Lunge back. You can step and lift if you like, or you can just lunge and stay coming here. Yeah? Let's keep moving. If you're feeling balanced, you can take it a little faster. Or feel free to slow it down if you need to. Remember which leg you were lunging back. Right. Now we're resting for 10 seconds. Next one, curtsy squat. We're going to take one leg behind at a time. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, and back. I like to take my arms in front with this one. Check in with your back knee. Make sure it's tracking the toes. You keep the belly strongly engaged. Make sure you keep breathing. Hopefully the heart rate's coming up now a little bit. If you can speed up a little bit, then go for it. Two, one, and rest for 10 seconds. We're going to come into our squat and do little pulses. Rest for another five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses for 20 seconds. Keeping that belly strongly engaged, Ten the hips back. Breathing, nice deep breaths. And making sure those knees are tracking the toes. Weight in the heels, upper body as lifted as you can. Keep pulsing a little faster if you can, perhaps. Two, one, and shake it out. Getting ready for our plank position. Remember, two options. You can just be in the plank or you can do the shoulder taps. So, three, two, one, here we go. And the shoulders. And you'll have a little bit of residual movement. We're really trying to uh, not rock side to side as much as possible. For four, three, two, one. And so we've done halfway. Halfway, you guys. Which leg did you lunge back with before? Now it's time to switch. Here we go. So lunge back. You can just come back to center. Option one. Option two. You're lifting the knee. With a little touch for stability in the center. Option three. You're swinging all the way through. Here we go. Then it comes behind. And again, making sure that you're breathing still. Just a couple more rounds to go. Make it a little faster if you can. Pick up the pace. And last one. From the center. Getting ready for our little squat pulses. These ones are killer on the quads. Really good for you. So, getting ready. Here we go. And pressing back. Making sure the knees are tucking the toes. Belly is engaged. Keeping the upper body lifted. Pressing down, down, down. A little faster if you can. Down, 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 down. And keep going for me. For four, three, two, one. And hang up. Let's do the last one. Just one more round to go, you guys. Hands on the hips and shoulders. Nice strong body. And let's tap the shoulders. Again, trying to rock side to side as little as possible. Obviously, there'll be a little bit of a uh, balance transfer, a weight transfer. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit for the last one. Three, two, one, and hips. Let's bring the knees down to the floor. Send the hips back. Reach the arms forwards, forehead to the floor. Nice deep breaths. Session complete. And then you can walk the hands over to one side. Allow your hips to fall to the other side. And then bring it back to the other side. So hands over to one side, hips fall to the other direction, stretching into the sides of the body.
center. 